Okay, so today I've got some Discworld figures. Um, so my wife is very much a big Terry Pratchett Discworld fan, so she was buying some stuff on the, uh, the Discworld website, and she noticed they had some figures, so I thought, oh, have a go at them. Um, so these are quite nicely packaged in sort of the generic Discworld pack, so it's the same pack on all of them. And then old school, I remember going into Games Workshop when it used to be sort of selling cheaper stuff. And they would, you would have the same packaging on everything and then just stickers on the back. Old school. So I went with Vimes, I'll take out another look, uh, Angler, the werewolf police lady, and also my favourite, um, Moist von Lipwig. Lipvig, Mr. Lipvig, and this is from Going Postal. They do have another one from one of the other books, but I love Going Postal. We watched it again last night, listened to it often in the car. So let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, so you get a little base. That is a really nice casting. So it looks like it's based on the uh, Paul Kidby book cover. That's crisply cast, that's really nice. Um, the base is slightly misshapen. I'm presuming it's cast like that and that was cold or there was an air pocket, but it's not too bad. What does it look like when it goes on the base? Oh yeah, so you see, so I just have to build something up. But uh, yeah, that's a focus skin. That's nice. Uh, so that's moist. We're doing a, lot, a large range of figures. I just went with some of my favourites to see what they were like. So I like moist anger. It's one of my favourite characters as well. Nicely cast. And again, comes with a little base. And then, best character ever, Vimes. Anyone looking forward to that new American Ice show set in the present? I think it will be an absolute car crash. I think everyone's disowned it at this point. So Vimes comes in two pieces, so you've got the body and also his arm with a crossbow. Not sure what he's meant to be holding there. But that's again a nice miniature and it's the classic version of the City Watch uniform, which I really like. Again that goes in stand. So first job on these will be to cut away any moulding lines. There's not much but there's some around the legs etc. Now there you see there's metal flash so cut all that away. Then it'll be a case of just undercoating it in sort of cheap poundland undercoat. And we can come back and have a look. Okay so you can see that undercoated it brings out the detail nicely. Really nicely, especially moist. So, the first job is to paint the flesh, and for that, I can use my normal Cadian flesh tones, lightened with a bit of Vallejo light flesh, and that just sort of thins it down a bit and stops it being a bit too sort of tanned. There we go. So probably a couple of coats on each one. And we can come back. Okay. So I've done a couple of coats of flesh over everything. I painted his legs, but looking at the Paul Kidby novel, 
or cover of the novel is actually wearing white stockings or cream stockings. So I was wondering why his skin was so uh, sort of broken. So what I'm going to do now is run Citadel Flesh Shade into the flesh areas. There we go. And let that dry. Well, I've added the uh, flesh wash and that's dried. So it's come out really nice. So what I'm going to do now is mix a little bit of the flesh colour with some white and then just dry brush it lightly over the flesh. And then I'm going to paint the eyeballs and for that I need my super fine brush. And I'm also going to mix a little bit of the uh, flesh colour with some red to make a lip colour. Hair colour, uh, Angua is blonde, so I'm going to use Zandri Dust as a base. Okay, and then we're going to highlight that in a lighter colour. Let's do that and we'll come back. Okay, so I'm going to paint Angua's eyes in. Yeah, pupils, no, not pupils, which are called irises. And I'm going to use. 8-lock or 8-lock blue. Going to use what colour Vimes eyes are. Looks like either dark blue or brown. I'm going to go with dark blue because that always looks good on a figure. So McCrag blue, a bit darker. Nicely stirring. Um, Rhymes has got brown hair, so I just fill that in. And uh, I'll also paint the hair on moist, and then we'll come back. Okay, so the eyeballs are dry, so I'm going to try and paint the pupil and the black line over the eye. Let's try volumes now. Okay, he looks suitably annoyed. Again. It's come out quite well, so I'm going to paint the dragon green. Start blocking in some of the clothes. He's got sort of brass breastplate, brass helmet. Need to do his hair a bit further down. So that will uh, come together on that. I'm going to run some flesh wash into Angua's hair and then dry brush it in a lighter colour. I'm going to try and tidy up that eye as well. It's a little bit too big, I'll make this one bigger. And then also where the chain mail is, I'm going to paint that black and then we'll dry brush that with silver. So let's get that blocked in. Okay, so. The black has dried, so I'm going to dry brush some Retributor armour. They came up with some weird names, didn't they? Uh, but it's a lovely gold. Sort of a bronzy gold colour. Okay. You can build up layers, and I'm going to do that with the rest of the armour. Okay, just to show you how we're getting on. So, Angua 
So I've blocked in her brown tunic and skirt section. Um, I need to dry brush her hair with some white. Um, and then do, I like the sword. It's a bit bent, the sword. The cloak will be dark brown, boots will be dark brown. So she's coming along. Vimes, again, I've just done his painted the dragon, done some of his clothes, and then moist. I have painted the first layer of silver, silver of gold for his postman suit. So he's coming along nicely. It's lovely gold that. So the next step is going to be to carry on blocking in uh, with the darker brown. And then we can come back once all that's done for a bit of dry brushing. Okay, so I've been I've painted the silver. I've undercoated because I want the, the feathers to be slightly different. So I've undercoated those black and I'm going to dry brush the gold over those. And then the bags will be various browns. The ropes will be uh, sort of beige colour. Um, and then once we've painted all the, blocked all the colour in, we can start to... Focus. We can start adding some shading into it. So coming along, um, Angra. I've blocked out the sword. It's going to be silver. Um, I'm going to dry brush some detail onto it, onto the skirt and the boots. But she's coming along nicely. It's a really nice figure. And then Vimes, same deal. So I've blocked in all the colours. So I'm going to do some dry brushing, some shading to bring out the detail. Okay, so I've uh, sort of finished blocking in all the colours on the figures, so now we're going to dry brush them to bring out a bit of detail. There we go, so that's what I'm going to do. See how it's brought out the detail? I'm going to do that on all the figures, and then we'll come back and see what they look like. Well, I've finished the uh, three figures, so let's have a look. Let's look at uh, Angra first. So, lovely figure. I think she came out very well. A bit of a look at the room and about her. So all I've done is popped her on the base that came with it. Some nice, strangely rounded bases. Then added some gravel. It's not quite dry yet. So yeah, I think that is a nice figure. Really nicely sculpted. I think I'll be getting some more of the... Uh, the city watch, so that's Angra, and then Vimes, I think he came out well, he's got a lovely sullen stare, he's got his little dragon that he's lighting his cigar with, his crossbow, the um, armour, can you focus, the armour came out really nicely on this one. Very antiqued. Yeah, lovely figure. There is another Vimes where he's using the dragon as a weapon, so I might get that one as well. And then this one, which I think is my favourite of the three, which is Moist stood upon a pile of letters from Going Postal. Lovely figure. It's straight off the cover of the book. gold came out really nicely on the suit so yeah so they were really nice figures to build I enjoyed doing them so I'm gonna yeah I'll probably get some more but uh, if you want to see more videos like this please like and subscribe let me know if there's any figure ranges that you'd like me to have a go at if there's anything I've missed and uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.